without exception. Some of the leading thinkers in the field of green growth in the Mekong region and beyond. While this may be a busy time of the year, I'm indeed delighted to see you're able to come for this expert dialogue. So let me, on behalf of all my colleagues, welcome you to Bangkok. FAO has been placing special emphasis on promoting sustainable resource management. Earlier approaches relied heavily on managing resources for just production and improving productivity. This has slowly been broadened and currently we recognize agriculture and natural resources for their multiple values. Indeed, they produce a vast array of goods and services for the benefit, in fact, the survival of mankind. Climate change has brought us home this truth. The world as we have it will be changed forever if the predicted events take place. Forests, for example, play a critical role in mitigating such a disaster. So the benefits stretch way beyond the local levels all the way to the global levels. The challenge lies in ensuring economic prosperity while maintaining sustainable levels of natural capital. There is no question the ecosystem service values of natural resources are not being adequately accounted for by the users and beneficiaries of these functions. To use economic language, these externalities are not absorbed in the market economy, which is leading to their degradation degradation. So, how do we deal with these shortfalls in the market? The current discussion on sharing green economy initiatives in the sub-region may offer some of the solutions. There are also different ways of approaching the policy framework, and over the past decade, we've seen promising initiatives to reduce pollution, enhance energy efficiency, and prevent the loss of biodiversity and ecosystem services. Indeed, we need to diversify our options from promoting green, tech, green clean technology to developing incentives to tr trigger environmentally friendly investments, as not every approach is applicable for all countries. And there is much more to learn and explore, which is essentially why we are all gathered here today. Colleagues have put together an interesting program for this dialogue, and the enthusiasm we received for this meeting suggests that we are on the right track. The hope is the countries and organizations present here will share their experiences on successful and even less successful measures that have been tried. I'm also pleased to note the presence of the private sector, and I'm confident that you will bring the discussions back to reality. Before I close, let me thank my colleagues for bringing this meeting together. I trust that your collaborations here over the next four days will help shed light on important issues related to sustainable natural resource management in general, and in particular, strengthen our efforts in formulating a solid and sensible proposal for activities on the topic in the Mekong region. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you the very best of luck with this dialogue. Thank you.